what's up course hero welcome to the channel i'm your host amit and today i'm going to show you how you can create any click funnels page within new zendler so let's get started all right so i'm on the website that's built on click funnels trafficsecrets.com let's try to build this inside of our new zendler school so what i've done so far is i've went into site pages and created a new page called copy any CF page. So this is public page, you can go check it out. We need to build out this kind of layout, right? The great thing about New Zealand that they just released a feature called full width blocks. So I'm gonna use full width blocks. So the page is full width, but you still have kind of like this narrow layout in the middle to kind of work with. To do that, I am going to go to this block, go into settings and make sure full width is on because we're going to continue to clone this same block over and over again. I'll just do this once, that way I don't have to remember to do it for every single block. So that part is done. I've already saved all the images. The video, we do have autoplay functionality in New Zendler, so we can use any video that you, you can either upload it to New Zendler or you can use a video that's from YouTube or any other video source. So first thing is we're going to, and I'm not, this is a super long page, so I'm not going to build each and every section, but I'm just going to show you some of the cool things you can do to make your page look just like any other ClickFunnels page. So I'm gonna copy this heading here. Let's just add our 100% row. And within that 100% row, I'm going to add the heading, which I just copied. So I'm gonna add this heading. Now what I wanna do is I want these boxes to not be full width, even though my page is full width. So I'm going to use one of my ninja tricks of this 33 and third element. I wanna increase this width a bit and the same on this one and this is kind of like the layout that I'm gonna work with for my site. So I'm not gonna use the full width blocks even though my page is full width to kind of give it a similar look here. And let's just move this one. I'm gonna move this text element inside here. And you can, uh, now I can just delete this top column. Now we need to highlight this. I'm going to change the font size a bit. What I wanna do is I wanna to try to pick this exact yellow color. So I'm gonna go into my color pick eyedropper Chrome extension and then just hover over this yellow, copy this code, go into here and paste it. All right, so now it's exact. And I also wanna see what kind of font Russell is using. So I'm gonna activate what font Chrome extension and then just hover over this. This one is Montserrat. So size 44, here's the font color, here's the font weight. Now that we know that, we need to make some changes here. So I'm just gonna highlight this text, make sure it's Montserrat and we are good to go. So next is we wanna add uh, this headline right here. So I'm just gonna copy it as is. So there's my video. Uh, now let's keep moving. Here he has a top green bar. I know this cannot be done right now in New Zealand, so we're gonna skip that step. The next one here is this is a box which has an image in the back end, image of his books and also a button. So let's create this. So image is in, now I just need to add some text and make sure the button looks good. But as you can see, this image is humongous. So once you add an image in New Zealand, you can simply drag it by the bottom right corner and resize it. And here we have it resized. And I also saw a shopping cart icon. So let's go into design and pick one that has the icon on the left side. Then I'm gonna click on this again and go into settings and then name it. And now we just need to change the icon. Let's go down here, look for a cart. Here's a shopping cart icon. And the last thing is to change this to match that green color. So I'm gonna change the background color. Now what I want to do is, before we move on any further, one, I want to delete this block. And the other thing is there's a gray background. So I'm going to give, give this a background color. All right, so if you go back, you can see there's like a gray background color here. Uh, let's go into settings 
and give it that light gray background color just like that the next thing we want to do is we want to add this social proof uh, to do this what i'm going to do is now i'm going to instead of adding a new block i'm simply going to duplicate this block because this block is already full width just make sure you click on the correct block and you can see this is full width and then if i go into the background color let's just make sure this has the same color i need to duplicate this block so let's go in and clone it now once you clone the block you can just delete all the elements from in there all right so my blocks have been deleted now what i want to do is duplicate this right here with the social proof and you can see there's one two three four five six let's go with uh so we want six different columns on our page is essentially what we're looking for and there are any different number of combinations you can do this with i just like to go 50 50 so now i have my two blocks here and within the 50 50 i like to add 33 third and same thing here so now we have the six blocks i'm going to delete this and then we just need to add those images which i've already saved so i'm going to quickly add those all right so i've added the logos now what i need to do is add the white background in the back so let's see how we do that is i'm going to select this entire block which was the 50 50 column layout essentially click on its settings and then go into the background color and we want to change that to white and if i click out you can see this looks exactly like the one that russell brunson has now and then next one again copy this stuff and i'm not going to copy each and everything um, but i do want to show you some of this stuff of how you can do it now within this we're going to add a text element and then once that text is in here you can just highlight this text you can change the text font family and also the text size so let's make this a little bit bigger and then this one was bold and green so we're going to change this to bold and then change the color to green and just remember as you're going through your page just keep saving those changes or you do have version history control here so if i go into this button i can look at version history and see all the different changes i have made it's always good practice just to save your changes so that part is done. Now there's all this text, which I don't think I need to add in here. Um, but I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video, add this uh, text in here, just so you get to see that final product and then come back as soon as that is done. All right, so I've built this quite a bit. Here's what my Zeller school is looking like I'm going to save this and I wanted to show you how to do these list elements as you can see there's a list element here with some text and an icon and to do this in new Zeller we're going to copy this first one and what we're going to do is click the add new element and this time I want to add a list you can see right here and then I simply paste it and then you can go into the settings of this list Here's the icon color. So you can change the icon and the icon color all from here. So let's pick the green color. Here are all my circle options. And if we go back and look at, see if I can find something similar here. I cannot, but this looks kind of close to it. So I'm just gonna pick that. Again, we can change the color and then the rest of the stuff is just copy paste. And I'm just showing you how to copy someone's website just to kind of give you an idea of what New Zealander is capable of. Of course, make sure as much as possible you write your own copy and you're not copying someone else's website because what works for someone else is probably not gonna work for you. Uh, so just be careful of that. And even if you're in the same niche, I know they say if imitation is the best form of flattery, but in some cases this would be considered plagiarism. So please don't do that. Uh, just use your good judgment and follow your heart and make sure you make the right choices. So again, I'm not gonna sit here and add each and every one of this just want to show you quickly how this can be done so we can move on to the other stuff so i have added again this is just text photo text photo there's nothing new here uh you if you have seen any of my videos of how to use the news handler editor that's pretty much the most basic thing you can do here you can see this kind of stands out now this isn't an image i tried to save it as an image it's not it's going to be a little tricky to build this, but what you want to do is basically have this box, put in the image in the middle, text on top, text on bottom, and then the button, and then 
you're going to give that background a color. Okay, I wanna add a row right below that one so we still keep that tight squeeze of our page. I'm just going to duplicate some text on top and bottom. I'm not gonna copy and paste the same text because the idea is to show you how to give that background color to a box to make it stand out. And now what I wanna do is I wanna highlight this entire box, hit the settings icon, and then choose the background color. So not the border color, background color, and then paste the color code in there. And just like that, we have been able to recreate that box. So that's how you would add the background color. I don't see a shadow option here anywhere in settings. Uh, as you can see on Russell Brunson's site, you have this shadow coming up here. I don't see that. So that's just something that if you are good at HTML, you can just add your own shadow by going and manipulating the HTML code. The last thing I want to add here is my button and again you can go into settings, change the button background color. We had picked this green right here. You can add that and then for design you can add one with the icon. Now I have noticed that when you pick the design, the color defaults back to the blue so you have to go back and change that background color again. The last thing that I want to show here, I wanted to try to recreate this box right here. And for this, you can see it has a green border and a green header, and then you have some text, image, and more text. So the first thing I wanna do is, again, add a new row down here. So click the plus button, let's add a 100% row. And in this 100% row, we're going to add a heading, or actually, I'm just gonna add a text element. And thank you for sticking around and watching me do this. Hopefully you have another computer open next to you where you are practicing as you go. As they say, practice makes perfect. Now what I wanna do is, I'm going to highlight this and make it a little bit bigger. Let's pick our font and then let's make it larger. And then you can click on settings and let's see if we can have the background color be green. So just to kind of mimic this and then the text should be white color. So I'm going to highlight this text, select this color drop and make it white and then go back in here and make this bold. So that part is done. Here comes the fun part. Now I have to select this entire box. So instead of selecting one element at a time, if you just hover a little bit on the outside, you will see the lines for that box that the, all these elements are in. Click the settings gear icon and then here, we need to pick a border style. So I'm gonna go with solid, border width one, and then border color. So you can see that I was able to get that same effect. And now if I save and preview this, you'll be able to see that this looks pretty close to what Russell has on his site. I was able to build this in less than an hour just by copy pasting stuff. And if I can do this, I'm pretty sure you can do this too. It's a bunch of text images, get some uh, creative juices flowing. Hopefully this video will spark that. And then you can have similar looking website and not pay ClickFunnels 99 bucks a month. I think this would be the last one that I think might take a little bit of work, but let's see if we can achieve that. So this has an image, then a title, then you have the list element with some text and more text on the right. So how I would do this is, let's go back and we're going to select this one and then add a new 100% row. And then in this, I'm going to add my image. And then below this image, we wanna add some text. Now what I wanna do is select both of these elements, go into settings and then change the background color to that green that's on the side. Select this, highlight it, and then change the text color to white. So that's what I have so far to kind of make it match this. And then the next thing is having the checkbox the text and this value on the side. And this is very important whenever you're selling something, show that value ladder of how much the value is worth of the stuff that they're gonna get versus what they're actually paying for it and sandwich that price in between to hopefully get you more sales. So to do this, I'm going to add a list element and then uh, just a plain text. So let's just add another row right here under this and we're going to add a two column layout now, this time, what I wanna do is go with this 66 33rd column layout. And in here, we will add our list element on the left side. And then on the right side, we're just going to add the 
text element. What we're going to do is we're going to just keep one list element and then we're going to select this entire column layout, go into its settings and I'm going to do the vertical alignment to top instead of center. Now, all you need to do is clone this as many times as you want and they will always align left and right because you only have one per column layout. And then I can just give this the red color. Make sure you make all your changes before you clone things or you'll have to go back in and make those changes to each and every block. And I think that was the last part. Let's just go through this and I think that's it. And there you have it, Course Hero. That is how you can create any ClickFunnels page in New Zendler while saving money. So what are you waiting for? I'm going to put a link in the description below. Grab that link, start your online school for free on New Zendler. Try it out. And if you like it, it's a deal of a lifetime. And thank you again for watching. I will see you on the flip side. Keep on creating.